Welcome to the Kiwi Mana Bay. Hi, it's Gary here from Kiwi Mana, and we are talking about building a, a two bucket extraction system today as a cheap alternative to a full blown extractor. And it's a beautiful, warm, and hot day here, and the bees are still flying around. So let's get to the instructions. Okay, first of all, get started. You need your two buckets, and you need your drill with a uh, 44 mil hole driller. Honey gate. Okay, to get started. First thing is drill your holes in your lid. The idea of this is that the honey will drip into there. Let me just put this in here. Always hold the, the bottom. Okay, you get the holes in the thing like this. This is a good way to check if your honey gate's drilled the right size too. Perfect. Okay, the next step is to drill the holes in your bottom. Okay, that should be good. Okay, how does it work? Okay, so what you do... Clear all your thing out. You put this lid here on the top. You get some cheesecloth. Put that over like that. Stretch it over. Put your lid on top of there. Then you put your second bucket on top of that. And what I've done is I've made it a bit of a bamboo thing here, it just sits on there. And what I'll be doing is putting the honeycomb in here, scraping off the Scraping off the cappings or the whole thing. If you if you're going to crush and strain, scrape off the whole thing. And then what you do is put outside in the heat, put a lid on the top, and the honey will drip from this this channel to the bottom level. And then the next step is to push your honey gate at the bottom to extract your honey. That's what we'll do next. So just ensure you don't go too far. And make sure you can still open the honey gate. Try and get it as close to the bottom as you can. And then mark a location there. Put your honey gate on, seal it up. Okay, 
and then put your bolt on the other side. Okay, so that's how you do it. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Got your uh, honey thing here. With your honey gate, your top barrel, bottom barrel. Now that these containers, you can usually get them from um, from food places. This here used to have strawberry concentrate on it, so they're they're quite inexpensive. So let's get extracting. If you uh, like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll uh, get you can get the next one about how to how to use this to extract with. Thanks, guys.